My grandfather and my great-grandfather uh, came to the Underground Railroad and brought their family. Uh, first time in 1902 and then came to Homestead in 1905 in both Amber Valley and Breton, Alberta. My grandfather's family is originally from uh, Mississippi. Uh, of course, everybody kind of transmigrated to Oklahoma, so they, they did their, their stops back and forth there. And they also were integral in helping people come back and forth through the Underground Railroad. So um, in one of the stops, which was in uh, Kansas, was my mother's grandfather. Uh, he was a, a Baptist minister and he had inherited uh, a great big, uh, I think, I can't even remember, thousands and thousands and thousands of acres of land from his slave owner's wife because they're, they're all the rest of the people that were on that plantation died of the plague, including the, the slave owner. So she raised him as her own son, taught him how to read and write and play the piano, and he became a Baptist minister and inherited all the property. So he was one of the houses for the Underground Railroad. So they would come through and he would, he would put them up in his barn or wherever he could where they wouldn't get captured. So. Amber Valley wasn't really where my grandfather stayed. He homesteaded in Breton. His dad stayed in Amber Valley. Uh, he, he didn't want to be in a congregation because um, they weren't your typical slaves. They were, they were a fugitive slaves. So the, he didn't want to be where somebody could come and get them. And he, so he homesteaded in, in Breton, Alberta. My grandfather didn't tell stories, actually. Um, got, we heard stories from my uncles and, and uh, stuff, but my grandfather didn't talk about it at all. They were afraid that they were going to be cap recaptured and taken back to where they came from. So they didn't talk a whole lot about it. All the things that he had gone through in his life, I never ever heard my grandfather complain. I never heard him talk bad about anybody. Uh, he was very giving. He was a uh, uh, hard praying, God fearing, very loving man. That's about all I can say.